keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we have season eight beginning, and yes, I have a lockdown for you. But before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noti game for my daily uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. Okay, so the lockdown that we're gonna be doing today is gonna be a lot different than your typical lockdown. This is gonna be more of your secondary ball handler type lockdowns. That's why I had Marcus Smart on the thumb because I felt like you know, yes, you can make your six seven lockdowns. Um, that are just primary defender lockdowns this could be a primary defender lockdown but it's also going to be i guess you can say it could be your primary ball handler or your secondary ball handler also okay so point guard is what i'm going with but you could go shooting guard um i like going left-handed because i'm left-handed IRL, but it's really up to you um then we're going to go 6'8 198 pounds and keep your 6'8 wingspan so as you can see everything is going to stay default right nothing changes there and then the body type we're going to go ahead no i'm sorry max out your wingspan all right and then your body shape we're gonna go to fine okay so like that's pretty much the best parts of it right so what we're gonna do here is this we're gonna go 55 on a close shot and that's only gonna move up because of the driving layup we're not worrying about that close shot we're gonna go 80 on the driving layup to get that zach levine layup package and of course 80 on the driving dunk to get quick drops okay so we're keeping it very simple short and sweet here you don't need anything else now of course you will have to add one bash point so you can be able to get that limitless takeoff on um because that's the most important thing limitless takeoff is activated with silver so you need at least silver limitless takeoff to be able to get your quick drops activated but you'll still get your finish fearless finisher on silver which of course is, is decent but really it's going to be your giant slayer your quick drops with your limitless takeoff is what's going to be the best combination there okay so that's what we're rocking with there all right now on the three-point shooting we want to go 86 now by going 86 you see your claymore becomes hall of fame and i think Hall of Fame Claymore is really good. Of course, your catch and shoot's really good. You know, those are badges, Green Machine. These are the badges you want to have. Even because, again, like I said, this could be a primary bar handler build, but it really can play better as a secondary ball handler, um, especially if you're in a wreck. Imagine having this build as a secondary ball handler along with lockdowns. Like, it's going to be pretty toxic um, because you have some really, really, really good defensive attributes with this build. But again, the 86 allows you to get the catch and shoot on um, gold and the claymore hall of fame that's very important okay now this is what i'm talking about here right you can get it um, you're getting an 89 ball handle with this with 75 speed with ball and an 80 pass accuracy so basically we all know how beautiful 80 pass accuracy is you don't really need to go no higher i mean theoretically you could but 80 is right there i mean 80 is so good right it's really really good for uh any type of ball handler okay 89 ball handle yes it would be nice to go 92, and I can show you how to go 92 if you want to. If you want to go 92 ball handle, I can show you that. But really, 89 as a secondary ball handle, I think 89 is good enough. You still get quick first step Hall of Fame. You get Clamp Breaker on gold. You get Unpluckable as a tier two badge um, on gold. You get Hyper Drive on gold. So you get all the good things. You just don't get Trey Young and Steph Curry. But at the same time, you're a lockdown, right? But you are able to dribble. So just keep that in mind how you work this, okay? Now let's talk about what we're here for, okay? 92 on your perimeter defense okay that's going to give you the gold clamps yes you could theoretically want to go all the way up to 97 but no i didn't want to do that i want to go 92 okay 30 so we go 35 on a tier defense 92 on your perimeter defense and then now we're going 99 on your steel to get that hall of fame glove right we know how important hall of fame glove is you get hall of fame glove with this hall of fame minutes those are the two very op badges you want to utilize on the perimeter and of course you'll get the pick dodger on gold we're not worrying about block offensive rebound or anything like that drop this down to 47 all right and this is all we're looking at the 24 so right now 15 21 20 and 24 is what we're looking at okay then on the speed we want to go 90 on that speed and just 80 on the acceleration so again if this was a primary ball handler yes you'll try to flip this around and go 80 speed 90 acceleration but as a lockdown you want to have the 90 speed with the 80 acceleration knowing that you are a secondary ball handler so we're not trying to get that much acceleration okay even though 80 acceleration is nothing to frown upon okay now we want to go 70 on the strength 
the 70 strength now really makes your clamp your um your clamps hall of fame right your strength and clamps have a lot they work hand in hand okay so if you have that's why i've been liking to go gold clamps and then adding more strength i just feel like that's just cheaper right it's cheaper to go gold clamps with 70 strength than to go 97 perimeter defense all right so um you're able to get more leeway in that then on our vert you just want to go 60 on the vert just to get those quick drops and then of course we'll go 90 on the stamina all right so what you're seeing is a really solid build all around 15 21 20 24 again like i said you can be in the park as your primary ball handler at 6'3", you're not 6'1", so you're not short, but you're still going to have problems with 6'9", right? So that's why it's good to have this build along with a lockdown. Just imagine having this build, a pure lockdown, and then like a you know a 6'9", or um, center, popper, or whatever you want to call it that's, you know, heavy in defense also. It's going to be pretty frustrating to play against this lineup. You have an 86 three ball, you're still going to be able to fade. You're still going to be able to do the things that you want. But again, if you're in rec, then you can move this build over to the two, right? Have a, a point guard move this build over to the two still have lockdowns like it's just really fun versatile type lockdown build here right um you get clamps of course you get playmaking you get sharp and shot creating again i went full lockdown here with extreme clamps and perimeter badge drop but again it's your preference you can make this build any way you want you can if you want to get takeover for sharp or whatever but here you have it my nephews and nieces this is going to be called i think it's a two-way shot creator or something like that now, yeah, two-way, three-point shot creator. Now, if you want to have a 92 ball handle, all you have to do is drop your three-point shot to an 85, okay? And then go ahead, drop your strength all the way down to a 42, and you'll be able to do it, okay? Because you only got to go three points. So just to say that again, drop your three-point shot to an 85, drop your strength to a 42, and you'll be able to get 92 ball handle okay so just put that in mind if that's what you want to do right so yeah now we're going to go ahead and test this build out real quick get 99 and we'll get you out of here okay so let's go here boom um we talked about getting our fearless finisher you want your giant slayer um remember you want to add that one extra bash point down there to be able to get limitless so let's just keep that in mind <clears throat> um but then i will also for right now let's just go acrobat boom boom aerial wizard we just throw some stuff around here but that's really what you need okay on the shooting side let's just say you're a secondary ball handler so you want to go catch and shoot you want to go green machine down here your core limitless and i'm sorry your core blind oh no okay good limitless and blinders you'll get that catch and shoot and then of course you want to go claymore right so this is basically everything you'll need and then we can just go ahead and drop on a bronze corner specialist just to top it off but this would be good as a secondary ball handler if you wanted it to be the primary then obviously you might want to go ahead drop your claymore get volume shooter um drop your catch and shoot look at aging threes or something like that or amps but that's where the gist of it here we want to go boom and boom come down here core clamp breaker get our handles for days and then get our quick first step and then our hyper drive you definitely want to add some badge points here obviously so you can get the hyper drive up to gold um and then again you might want to add some more badge points to be able to get bell out or whatever else and then here this is where you're going to go with your um, double core, okay? So you got your workhorse, we wanna get our menace. Down here, we wanna go ahead, um, we're gonna core glove. And if you're able to double core, you wanna core glove and then core clamps. If you're able to do that, then look at what you can do now. Cause remember, you got glove and clamps cord right now. Then you can go ahead, still get your challenger, come up here, get your menace, and then you can get your pick dodger, all right? So basically the ones that you really need, you're gonna have, right? Now, if you're not able to do that, then again, you wanna, you're wanna you gonna have to add your badge points, okay? Because you don't worry about rebound chaser, chase down, all that. Remember, you're on the perimeter, you're 6'3", you ain't doing much there, okay? So these are the main badges that you want, all right? But yeah, anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Season 8 Lockdown build. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon, another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.